everybody. Hello, turkeys. And uh, welcome to a nice spring uh, afternoon in northern Michigan. I guess there's a lot more where this came from. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tidy up here a bit, put some food out. As you can see, we've got turkeys waiting. I know the deer are not too far behind because I see all kinds of tracks. And uh, got some thank yous and uh, a lot of things to share with you today. We stopped at the post office box this morning and we picked up uh, 15 more cards that came in for Richard. So we let you know uh, uh, who sent those in. And then we also uh, stopped and picked up some more food because we are really going through it, as those of you who watch every day uh, realize that uh, lately we've been feeding three times a day. Uh, Danny's been coming in the morning, we've been coming in here in the afternoon, and then uh, Todd's been coming in at night, and uh, there is just so much wildlife right now, and this is going to just even make it worse, because there is just absolutely nothing for them to eat except for uh, what we can get put out here. So we're going to clean up a bit, and then we'll start sharing some things with you. that came in this morning. Is that all of them? Well, not the ones for Richard, just the ones for us. On the other side. I don't see any deer. I'm not sure where they went. All right, we've got some more cards here uh, for Richard. Just want to mention uh, who brought them. Brendan and I are going to be taking them down tomorrow, God willing, because uh, the weather is supposed to get even much more worse uh, than it is now. Quarter inch of ice downstate, they're saying. All right, uh, let's see. This card is from... I'm not sure why this one got open. Uh... But this is from uh, Beth and Chase, so we'll be taking this down to them. Okay. And let's see, we've got another card going down to Richard from Roger and uh, Roger and Martina Boyle in Mount Carmel, Pennsylvania. Okay, and then we've got one here from Connie Scott, and uh, she's from the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas. That will be going to Richard tomorrow. I've uh, got one from D.L. Smith from Homestead Township, Ohio. Thank you, D.L. We'll make sure he gets that. Uh, we've also got one, and I don't see a name on it, but it, it's from uh, Lewisburg, North Carolina. So that one will be going down. Uh, we've also got one here from DeWolfs in Sterling Heights. And we've got one here from Lori and Andy. And uh, they're from uh, South River, New Jersey. All right, uh, we've got a card from, oh, another one from Lori and Andy from South River. So he'll be getting two of those from them. Uh, I've got one here from Mike and Deb Thomas, and it looks like Hanover, Pennsylvania. We've got another card here uh, for Richard from Kay Collins from Houston, Texas. And we've got one here. Uh, it's for Richard. Uh, there's no return address, but I see it's been canceled in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, I've got one from uh, Beth and Chase in Griffin, Georgia. And we've got one here. Uh, no return address on it, but it's been uh, stamped postmarked in South Jersey, uh, New Jersey. And one from uh, Kathy Louie in Murfreesboro, uh, Murfreesboro, North Carolina. And uh, last one here for Richard is from uh, Gail Schultz in Catawissa, or Catawissa, Pennsylvania. I don't know if you guys can see, but the deer are sneaking up behind us. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm put these in the and then you've got some too, Brenda, that you wanted to talk about? Well, there's some we have to read. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Brenda's putting those away because we don't want them to get wet because we're getting moist snow falling on us right now. Uh, got some other folks to thank. And uh, and uh, like I would mentioned on our Facebook page, I mean, we've got just the greatest snowman cam family ever. I know we've got 30-plus cards to take down to Richard, which uh, is just phenomenal. Uh, there's just so many people out there that, uh, that care. And uh, that's exactly the, the, the kind of community that we've been working on trying to build here. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, also, I'd like to thank these folks, too, because uh, without uh, the folks I'm going to mention now, we wouldn't be able to afford to come out here and put this kind of food out every day. So I'm going to start with uh, Bianca Gordon, and she's in Norcross, Georgia. And uh, she mentioned uh, she made a donation, and then also she says that she's a nurse, and right now she's in the uh, Marshall Islands. So, Bianca, if you've watched this for a while, you know Brenda's a nurse also. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm sure she'd rather be in the Marshall Islands right now than standing here. i uh, also like to thank Laura Miller uh, from Tulare, California. Laura, you've been really, you've been so helpful here uh, on an ongoing basis, and we certainly appreciate your ongoing support. Uh, I'd like to th uh, thank uh, Grit. Uh, and I've got to figure out how to pronounce this last name because she's been so helpful, too. Uh, it's S-A-D-E-W-A-S-S-E-R. So, I don't know, Sadowasser? No Anyways, Grit is from north, northern Germany. Grit, thank you very much. She loves the Blue Jays here, and she always likes it when we put out uh, all the small food for the Blue Jays. So, thank you for your ongoing support, Grit. Uh, also, like to thank Tom Fletcher from Ocala, Florida. I don't know if you guys can see behind us. Yeah, I'm sure they can see them. Uh, Tom, I'm sure the weather is much better down there, and we appreciate your monthly support, too, so thank you. Uh, also, like to thank uh, Matthew Lamborn, and he's from uh, Marlowe, Buckinghamshire in the U.K. Sorry, I hope I pronounced that right. Matthew, thank you very much. That uh, information's already been passed on to Richard, and I'm sure he's probably got it bagged up into the post office already, so thank you. I uh, also want to thank a fraternity donated. I've been waiting to hear back from them on where they're from, but it's Alpha uh, Chi Omega Delta Sigma Delta Chapter. So not sure where that was. I looked up online. I see it's a national uh, fraternity, so I'm not sure what state. But, yeah, if you can let me know, I'll, I'll mention you again uh, when I feed next, too. So thank you very much. We appreciate the fraternity helping us out there. Uh, also, uh, we've got a new person that's helping us out on a monthly basis, and it's uh, Kimberly uh, Sonuk, I think it's pronounced. And uh, uh, Kimberly, I sent you an email just asking you where you were from, so hope you don't mind me mentioning your name. I always like to get approval first, but uh, if you can let me know where you're from, we'll add your name to the website and also put where you're watching us from. Uh, and then also helping us on a monthly basis, and she has been now for several months, is uh, Patty Mazou. Uh, uh, and she's in Joplin, Missouri. So, Patty, thank you very much for helping us out and making it possible here to keep this thing going and keep the animals fed. And also I have an anonymous here. It says, Ken and Brenda, I wish I could send more, but I hope this helps a little. Any little bit helps. It doesn't matter the amount. I love watching your website. Thank you. And she also included a card for um, Richard. And not to mention the name. I'll let you... Okay. This all right. Uh, I mentioned these folks, but maybe they've sent another one here. Oh, I guess they sent one for us, one for Richard, one for us. So this is a donation from Devin Mike Thomas from Hanover, Pennsylvania, and a very generous donation. Thank you very much. That uh, That's going to buy a lot of food for out here, so we appreciate that. And there's a, this is, oh, there's something inside. Okay. All right, this one is from Atlanta, Georgia. Nice little card showing a fallen tree with a chipmunk on it and a couple of uh, bunnies and looks like a couple of mice there. Uh, it says, hello, Mr. Ken. Thank you so much for feeding the animals. My grandson and I so enjoy watching. I have a question regarding sizes. Oh, okay. This, this has got something to do with the purchase, so I'll answer, answer this later. Uh, you give me your email address. We so appreciate all you do for the animals. And uh, Betty and Chase, and she also mentions praying for Mr. Richard. People, other people might want to know the sizes. She wants to know if the sizes that Richard has are for men and women. Um, the sweatshirt I've been wearing is a large. It fits me. I normally wear a woman's large. 
and it fit can, so I'm going to say they're universal. And we do not have children's sizes, but we do have a couple adult, small, or youth sizes that Bridge Ray would get a hold of. Otherwise, no children's t-shirts. And then from Deb and Mike Thomas, it just says, thank you, Ken and Brenda. May God bless you always. Okay. And then I have a um, donation from Kay Collins, and she sent a really nice card. Just says, uh, if a little kindness goes a long way, your circles the globe. Thanks. And it says, we stern blood across the snowman arm, first to keep an eye on the weather, but have really enjoyed what you have done for the animals. Stumbled. We stumbled across. Oh, stumbled. The yeah. Okay. We, we are part-time Houston, part-time Gaylord. We bought a cabin in Gaylord and are there during the summer to escape the Houston heat. Can't wait to get there this year. We do want to visit the camp while we are there. Hope to meet you both. Um, please use the donation to feed the hungry animals. Thank you both for your kindness. And Christian love, Kay and Allie? Allie? Could be Allie. Well, we certainly look forward to meeting you uh, when you come here to Gaylord. And you're right, a lot of people do escape that uh, that Texas heat and come up here during the summer. We have absolutely phenomenal summers, very nice, warm, sunny days. And then it cools off, oh, around 70, 65 to 70 in the evening. So perfect for sleeping. And, yeah, the deer know we're getting towards yep. the end. They're coming in. Another um, donation and a thank you from Danita Smith. And it says, Ken and Brenda, thank you so much for your dedication to the animals the people in Woody and Gigi. You bring such joy with your attitudes, sensitivities, and talents. Brenda, you rock girl. Here's my donation. This is my first contribution for my pledge to be monthly. And she said, um, this reminds her when we visit every day, Psalm 96, 11, and 12. And it says, thank you both. You are appreciated dearly by man and beast, Anita Smith, and Psalm 96. Let heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them, let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. I love this. Thank you so much. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, we love uh, we love hearing things like that and certainly appreciate it. I'm going to put these in the car all so they right, don't yes, get wet. All right, yes, they don't get wet. Yeah, look at all the deer coming in behind. Aww. So, yeah, they... Uh, they can tell we're wrapping things up here, so I am going to wrap it up. Uh, I just uh, like to mention, like I do every day, about our YouTube channel. Uh, it's growing. There, we've got uh, 641 people that have subscribed to it. It's free to subscribe. So if you do YouTube, or even if you've never done YouTube before, uh, just go to our website, snowmancamp.com, and at the top of the page there, you'll see our YouTube page link. And click on that. It takes you right into our page. And uh, especially for the new people that wonder what the heck we're doing here and what this is all about, there's just hours and hours and hours of videos there that you can watch. That uh, We have behind-the-scenes videos. We've got uh, videos that other people have captured and uh, just all kinds of neat things. So if you haven't done it, uh, feel free to join that. Uh, we're trying to, to grow that community. We've got uh, we've got a lot of neat plans for that. So you'll want to be involved in that. Uh, Maybe we should put out more corn. Yeah, might as well, because, yeah. yeah. And then we'll get out of here before the snow covers it all. Uh, I'd also like to th thank the folks at EarthCam, and uh, for those of you, somebody was asking how do they post in the Hall of Fame, because you can do that again at EarthCam. So if you go to our page in EarthCam or you use the app, at the bottom of the live video, there's a little camera there. When you click on it, a box will come up, and uh, it will give you the opportunity to post that. And when you do it, ask you your name. And uh, I think when you click on that, it'll come up. And the only way, it, it lets you post the, the picture anonymously. But if you want your name to be there and you want to send a message, uh, you have to link it to your Facebook page. They're doing that uh, just to make sure that, uh, that the people that are making comments uh, can be identified uh, properly, because there have been some issues in the past with that. So anyways, that, uh, feel free to go back into EarthCam again and, uh, and post away. That's a great way for people to, to learn about us is, is through that. 
Uh, also, uh, welcome to all the people that are following us on Twitter. If you do Twitter, that is a great way to stay in touch with what's going on. You get instant updates uh, when there's something very cool here, like a black bear or bobcat or maybe something that you don't see on a daily basis. And then also, too, uh, we post our times when we're going to be here. So if you like to catch us live, uh, you'll know when that's going to be. Uh, welcome to uh, all the new people that have joined our Facebook pages. We're glad to have you with us. Um, and if you haven't and you do Facebook, uh, just do a search for Snowman Cam, and uh, two things will pop up. Our Facebook page, you can follow and like that. And then we also have a fans group that's very active out there. A lot of great, kind, talented people that uh, do a lot of postings. You'll, you'll see a lot of very innovative and very interesting things. Uh, not that, oh my, there's even more deer coming in now. I, think I know. Do you want me to get more? Yeah, why don't you get some more while I'm wrapping things up here. So, uh, yeah, you'll definitely uh, want to join our Facebook pages if you guys do that. Uh, again, a big thank you to Danny and Todd. We couldn't do this without you guys. It's, a, it's about a 20-mile ride for us out here to do this. So, so sometimes it's difficult to be out here first thing in the morning and also again at night. But uh, I do try to at least get out here around this time. Of the day. So there are a lot of deer lining up waiting to come in. Uh, and uh, you, you saw all the the cards that uh, we picked up this morning at the P.O. Box. Uh, obviously, we won't be able to get any more because we're going down tomorrow uh, to spend some time with Richard before he goes into surgery on Monday, which it's going to be a very, very er, uh, serious surgery. He's having the surgery on Tuesday, but uh, checking into the hospital on Monday. But uh, if you want to continue to, to send cards, that's great. You can send them to our P.O. Box because we'll be gathering them again and then taking them down again to see them uh, once he's done with his surgery and uh, he's out of his coma and, you know, able to have guests again. So uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty intense thing that uh, Richard's going to be going through. So if you want, uh, you can uh, continue to send those to our P.O. Box, which is 888 uh, Gaylord, Michigan, 49735, or I'm sorry, 49734, P.O. Boxes are 734. And uh, just mark on the envelope for Richard so we know uh, what to open and what not to open when it comes to the P.O. Box. We're going to take those all down to Richard and let him open them, and then uh, we'll get some pictures uh, of him doing that and probably some video, too. And uh, speaking of video, coming in here, Brent, up there, Brent Stone, right there. Uh, Brenda got some nice video j just as we're kind of coming up the road and pulling in the driveway. So if you want to see what it's like trying to travel in northern Michigan in this kind of weather, uh, you can check that out. It's, it's pretty treacherous. Uh, believe it or not, the snow makes it a little bit better because it gives you some traction because underneath it, it is an absolute, uh, it's, it's glare ice underneath there, extremely slippery. So. Uh, law enforcement is saying if you don't have to drive, don't, and uh, I can see why. It, it's it's very dangerous out there. So uh, please give us some prayers for tomorrow because uh, we are going down. Uh, normally it's about a, oh, a little three-and-a-half-hour trip from here down to Richards. Uh, and I don't care how long it takes us tomorrow. We're going to leave after church. We're going to head down. But uh, hopefully there will be uh, somewhat of a break in the weather. I, I know we're going for a lot of freezing rain between here and him. So we're hoping we can get through that okay. All right. Are you almost ready, dear? That's my deer I'm talking to, in addition to the other deer that are, they've got us completely surrounded now. All right. I'm not sure what she's doing in there, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up so the deer can come in because they're standing all over, and there's turkeys waiting too. I think we've got all the food in place. Uh, this is probably going to get covered up very quickly or eaten very quickly, so uh, if you can let other people know when they come in, I, every single day I get emails, how come you guys aren't putting food out, and they don't realize how fast it gets eaten up and how much. We're putting out hundreds and hundreds of pounds every day, and there's some people concerned that uh, we're forgetting to feed, feed the animals, so if you can let some of those folks know, we would appreciate it. That is Todd coming home a little early from work today. So, all right, we're going to take off. We hope wherever you're watching us from around the world that uh, you're warm and you're safe, you're comfortable, you're dry, you're in good health. And uh, we hope that you're well fed. And with your help, like all the folks we mentioned here earlier, which we cannot be thankful enough for, uh, we'll be here every single day to make sure that uh, these animals get through the winter. And they, 
they're facing some uh, some pretty serious days here where they're going to have absolutely no food except for what people put out for it. So, oh, you got some corn in you. There's a whole bunch there. There's a bunch back yeah. there. They're going to be running in here. Yeah, they'll be in here uh, probably uh, within two minutes of us pulling out. So, are you ready? Yep, but I don't see any behind the house. All right, have a great day, Saturday, or have a great Saturday, everybody. And uh, I hope the weather is a little better where you're at. Take care, and uh, we obviously we're going to be downstate tomorrow at Richard. So uh, God willing. Yeah, God willing, Danny and uh, Todd are going to take care of feeding duties uh, tomorrow, and they do a great job for us. So don't worry, we'll make sure everybody's fed. Bye bye.